The conceptual roots of Shostakovich's 14th Symphony are found in his 1962 orchestration of Mussorgsky's Songs and Dances of Death, and more fundamentally, in the composer's experience of failing health. Four years earlier, he'd felt the first symptoms of weakness and pain in his right hand that would end his career as a pianist and make the act of writing music difficult. This was the beginning of a cascade that included serious falls, long hospital stays, chronic pain, multiple heart attacks and strokes, diagnoses of polio, ALS, and finally lung cancer, which was the proximate cause of Shostakovich's death in August of 1975. Increasingly filled with a sense that his life was entering its final stages, his orchestrations of Mussorgsky's songs prompted a desire to write a work that expressed his own views on human mortality. He felt that much of the music written on the subject was marred by a conceptual softening of death's finality, either through themes of philosophical redemption or appeals to the supernatural. In his judgment, death is in store for all of us, and there is nothing beyond it. The 14th Symphony, which Shostakovich described as the work to which all his previous music had been leading, became the vehicle for expressing his deeply held convictions on the matter. Hobbled by pain and the lingering effects of a heart attack he'd suffered three years earlier, Shostakovich entered the Kremlin Hospital in mid-January of 1969. Moscow was in the midst of a flu epidemic, and visitors weren't allowed. Stuck in enforced isolation, the music of the 14th Symphony came pouring out of the composer. He completed a piano score of the piece by mid-February and finished the orchestration by the end of the month. This urgency wasn't entirely circumstantial. In a letter to a friend, he wrote, I composed it very quickly. I was afraid something would happen, like my right hand would stop working altogether, or I'd suddenly go blind. I was tortured by these ideas. This anxiety continued as he planned the work's premiere, leading him to go with his second choice for soprano soloist because her schedule was light enough that she could learn her part quickly. As Shostakovich explained, I'm afraid I'll die soon, and I want to hear this work.